everyone, it's TJ, the Stereo Bargain Foul, and I am very fired up today, you all, to bring you my full video review of my Rance's very own PM8006, which is basically a fully featured pure analog stereo integrated amplifier. But first, I want to give a big shout out to the subscribers and viewers of this video today from the Stereo Bargain Foul. Happy Holiday Weekend. So now let's jump straight back into it, you all. But anyways, to kick the video off, I want to start out with some specs and features and size and dimensions of the Marantz Integrated Amplifier for you all. And then, yes, I'm going to take you for a close-up look all the way around the Integrated Amplifier. And then you all know I've got to do it. i got to take my trusty Klein Tool uh, Phillips screwdriver, and I'm going to pop the hood for you all so we can take a deeper dive inside. And then, yes, I will go over the complete sound performance, in my humble opinion, of the Marantz PM8006. And then to wrap the video up, at the very end, I will talk about speaker pairing because I rode about six different speakers with the Marantz. And yes, when I'm going over the complete sound performance of the amplifier, I will talk about the pros and the caveats also. I almost forgot to say that. But anyways, the Marantz PM8006 for the rest of this video review, I'm just calling it the Marantz. But anyways, the Marantz comes in over here in the U.S. at a price point of $1,500 U.S. But check this out, you all. The Marantz is built in Japan. So that was very good for me to see. Now, some of the features and specs that I really like with the Marantz is, for one, I told you all it's a fully featured integrated amplifier, but it's pure analog, meaning there's no built-in Bluetooth, there's no built-in streamer, and there is absolutely no built-in DAC, which makes it pure analog. Now, there are people out there that do like integrated amplifiers that have all these different features built in, but the Marantz PM8006 isn't one. Now, what this allowed Marantz uh, uh, research and development team what it allowed them to do, instead of spending their budget into adding, you know, Bluetooth or a streamer or a DAC, it allowed them to add more of the budget into quality electronic components into the Marantz. So the Marantz does lean towards more of the audio file or music file um, altogether, and myself included. But anyways, you all wanted to go over that with you, that it did not have those built-in features. But one thing Marantz is very proud of is their Fomino preamp that they do have built inside. Now, Marantz calls this their musical Fomino EQ. Now, it is a moving magnet Fomino preamp. And one of the cool things that Marantz did is they have a two-stage amplification uh, circuitry that they have inside. And this really helps y'all to have low noise. So, if you're someone that still loves to spin the vinyl... Well, the Marantz PM8006 may be the integrated amplifier for you. Me, personally, I always like to use an outboard phono pre. I didn't test it with the Marantz, but hopefully in the future I will. Now, let's go over the actual power ratings of the Marantz integrated amplifier. Now, one thing I want to say is, I didn't say this at the first, I should have said this, but uh, basically, an integrated amplifier is a preamp and amplifier built inside. And a really cool thing about the Marantz is that the preamp inside, it basically uses Marantz's proprietary technology that they call HDAM technology. And then this Marantz PM8006 comes with the SA3. Now, HDAM stands for Hyper Dynamic Amplifier Module, which basically means that Marantz doesn't use some off-the-shelf, you know, uh, amplifier chip or integrated op-amp. They basically build their own amplifier module. And another really cool thing is that amplifier module is like the preamp. It boosts that input signal. And it sits, you know, between the volume knob and the actual amplifier. But another really cool thing is, is that... Um, it is, has a very short signal path to the amplifier. Now, the built-in output states transistors of the Marantz, they do use JFITs, and I like JFITs. That is junction field um, effects transistors. 
which that's really cool to see, you know, in this integrated amplifier. But anyways, I just wanted to go over that with you all real quickly, is that the preamp section inside is actually class A, where the amplifier section is class AB. I will go ahead and call it, call it a class AB amplifier, but I just wanted to get that through to you all. Now, one thing that Marantz did when they rated the power ratings of uh, the PM8006, Marantz was very, listen to me you all, Marantz was very, very conservative. They rated the Marantz at 70 watts at 8 ohms and 100 watts at 4 ohms. But do not let that power rating fool you all. Remember, it's not how many watts an amplifier has that matters. But it is the quality of them watts that matter, y'all. I mean, the Marantz PM8006 comes with a very beefy uh, power supply. I mean, it even has an oversized toroidal transformer that is 600 VA. That is really good size, y'all. And it's double shielded. And Marantz also uses high quality Nichicon filter caps. And then they have this large, you all, pure aluminum aluminum heatsink built inside. Now having this big power supply and what Marantz calls their back here, they have what they call their current feedback circuitry. What they say this, you know, power supply and this current uh, feedback circuitry helps the Marantz to do is you all, the amp inside has the capability to momentarily to pass 45 amps plus providing that high power drive for your most demanding speakers. Now you all, when I'm running one set of speakers, I have a lot of speakers that are power hungry. My Elac UB52s, my Kev Q100, my Kev Q350, and even my Polk Audio LSIM703. All these speakers I have like a lot of power. And let me tell you something, the Marantz drove them easily, you all. I mean, effortlessly. That that really shocked me, y'all. And I even have a reference pair of speakers I just got that I haven't reviewed yet. But these speakers like to drop down to the 4 and even 2 ohm impedance. And, you know, for an amplifier, you know, to dr drive, you know, that low, you know, it needs to have a beefy power supply. And again, the Marantz drove my reference speakers. Now, when using the amplifier, you know, to drive these, you know, hard-to-drive speakers... The cool thing about the Marantz is it has speaker A and speaker output. Now, I would recommend only two sets of speakers if they're rated below 8 ohms. If you're driving, you know, speakers A and speakers B output, a total of four speakers, I would make sure that all four of them speakers are at least 8 ohms or above. Now, I'm talking about when I'm driving those, you know, uh, speakers that drop down in ohms, I'm talking about just driving two of them, y'all. So now let's go over the size and dimensions of the Marantz PM8006. Now the Marantz comes in weighing at 26 and a half pounds. Or for my friends over across the pond, 12.2 kilograms. Now the Marantz stands 5 inches tall or 128 millimeters tall. Now here's a pretty cool remote. I'll show you a close-up look at that just here in a minute, y'all. Now, when it comes to the width of the Marantz Integrated Amplifier, the width is 17.3 inches, or it's um, 444 millimeters in width. Now, when we talk about depth of the Marantz Integrated Amplifier, Marantz uh, has the depth at 14.9 inches deep. Now, I'm going to get back to that, you all, but they have it at 14 0.9 inches deep or 379 millimeters deep. But let me turn this off here in the front, you all. Then I'm going to unplug the Marantz. Then I'm going to spin it around. Look at the size of those speaker terminals, you all. And these are actually made by Marantz. They are solid brass with a very thick silver coating over top. And Marantz calls these speaker terminals their SPK1+. Plus. But these are so very big uh, speaker terminals. Now, when I actually measured from the front to the back, you all, um, when I did Marantz's measurement, it was from the front here to the back here. It wasn't from the actual, you know, over here we have our uh, selector knob and our volume control. 
but if I measure it from there all the way to the back of the speaker terminals, it's actually 15.5 inches deep. I just wanted to make sure that I got that across to y'all. So now, I guess I'm going to pause the video real quick, and we're going to take up a close-up look of the Marantz Integrated Amplifier, and yes, I'm going to pop the hood. But I uh, hope I didn't forget to tell y'all the price point of the Marantz is, again, $1,500 U.S. This, you all, I had to jump straight into my subjective, humble opinion of the overall sound performance of the Marantz PM8006 Class AB Integrated Amplifier. Now, at the end of the video, yes, I'm going to give you all a close-up look, and I'm going to pop the hood to take you all for a deeper dive inside. But right now, I couldn't wait, you all. Let's talk about what the Marantz sounds like. First off, yes, the Marantz Integrated Amplifier has what I call that Marantz House sound, meaning the Integrated Amplifier is on the warm side of neutral and it has this smooth and sweet sound to it overall. And also, yes, the Marantz has that V-shaped, uh, V-curve shaped sound signature, meaning the bass is boosted up and the treble has just a little bit of extension in the top end. Now, the one thing about the top end treble with the Marantz that I was really impressed with it was because, you know, above 15 kilohertz, I would call the treble delicate, or meaning the, the treble above 15 kilohertz is smooth, you all. I have other integrated amplifiers. Actually, I have a lot of them. And to give you a, a, an example, we'll take my IOTA VX stack that I've had for about two years. Now, that is a $1,000 integrated amplifier, but the top end of the IOTA VX stack, just like my Yamaha AS1100, that's a $2,500 integrated amplifier yes the top end treble to them are more aggressive sounding they are more uh, what i would also call more revealing in the top end also then you take another integrated amplifier like my audio lab 6000a that i absolutely love now that's about a thousand dollar integrated amplifier well the top end treble of the audio lab 6000a like I told you all before, it has more of that recessed top end with just a little bit of roll off. And the Audio Lab has a really mature top end, meaning the Audio Lab isn't aggressive at all. So, you know, the Marantz to me falls in between, you know, the IOTA VX stack and the Yamaha and the Audio Lab 6000A. The Marantz falls right in the middle when it comes to the treble. I was very impressed with the top end treble, y'all. There's very good detail refinement. Clarity is very good also, especially for the Marantz's $1,500 um, price point. Now, um, in the top end treble of the Marantz, there's very good sparkle also, y'all. Especially when I'm using speakers like my Kef Q350s or even my Triangle Esprit Easy Commons. I mean, that sparkle is very good. I'm addicted to that sparkle, y'all. But um, anyways, I wouldn't call the treble of the Marantz, you know, I would, wouldn't call it on the articulate side as I would call it more on the musical side. Now, um, I will say it gets, you know, say here's musical treble and here's articulate treble. The Marantz falls, you know, right at, say we got a scale 1 to 10, 10 being analytical, 1 being musical, it would land on about a 4 of being musical. I hope that was a good way to uh, explain that to you all. But another thing, you all, let's talk about the low-end bass. The low-end bass of the Marantz PM8006 is very impressive, you all. The low-end bass is strong, and it's got authority and real weight to it, especially for the Marantz to be a Class AB amplifier at 26 and a half pounds. As many of you all may know, I own a lot of integrated amplifiers, ranging from $500 to $3,000 U.S., and um, they're all Class AB. But the Marantz PM8006, when it comes to low-end bass and that fullness and that torque power overall, to me, it sounds more like a, a 30 to a 35-pound, you know, Class AB integrated amplifier. I mean, that bass is strong, y'all. Now, I will tell you, the bass um, 
isn't the doesn't have the best grip it doesn't have the best speed i mean even amplifiers like my iota vx stack the low end bass you know is a little bit more articulate compared to the marantz but the marantz does have you know that drive power y'all it goes down deep it is full there is torque power and one thing that i love about that you all and a lot of other people will also is a lot of times i don't use powered subs in my hi-fi system i just use two speakers and a lot of time these are stand mount speakers or small tower speakers well one thing i noticed with some of my budget integrated amplifiers is that the low end bass at low volumes there's not a lot of drive to it but with the Marantz PM8006 integrated amplifier, even at those low listening volumes, you all, you're still going to get this fullness of bass. And I really enjoy that personally. So now, let's talk a little bit about the mid-range, you all. Mid-range of the Marantz PM8006 Class AB integrated amplifier. First off, the mid-range does have a little bit of warmth to it, you all, or what some people would say, a little bit of color. Now, the mid-range is a little bit thin. It doesn't have a whole lot of meat on the bone, which to me, that is a good thing, you all, especially when it comes to complex recordings. One thing I noticed with the Marantz when I, I'm listening to music that has all kinds of different instruments playing at the same time, the Marantz does a very, very good job at instrument separation where other integrated amplifiers that i have on that have a lot of meat on the bone in the in the mid-range they tend to you know kind of have that smearing effect sound and i did not get that out of the marantz pm8006 now another thing that i really like about the marantz is the upper mid-range and the lower treble when we're talking about male and female vocals the Marantz does a great job, especially with female vocals, you all. Now, when I'm using my speakers that are from like $1,000 US to $1,500 US, like my Kef Q350s and my Triangle Esprit Easy Common, when I'm listening to vocals like Chantel Chamberlain, oh my goodness, you all. The Marantz, even though it's a $1,500 US integrated amplifier, it actually, with female vocals, competes with my integrated amplifiers up to $2,000 US. So the female vocals are very good. Now the male vocals are good also. I'm a huge fan of Michael Bube. I got his CD here. And also Michael Jackson. Now when I play recordings, you know, through the Marantz that aren't the best of recordings, yes, the Marantz can suffer just a little bit from what I call the Sassy S Syndrome. You all know what I'm talking about. But not as much so when I'm listening to great recordings. That's not much of a problem at all. So now let's talk about soundstage, you all. Because one thing the Marantz does very, very well is that the Marantz is a imaging machine, you all. That's right, Marantz has some magical um, imaging. I mean, it can lay down, you know, this huge sound stage. You know, the width, the height, the depth. I mean, I was pretty much blown away with the overall imaging of the Marantz, you all. I mean, it does compete, you know, with my amplifiers costing up to $2,000 that was one of my favorite things about the Marantz is the actual imaging. So now let's talk about one of the caveats that I've had with the Marantz. And that is, you all, the overall dynamics are okay. They're not the greatest dynamics. They're not the worst dynamics. But they're just okay. But I will tell you that initial attack in the low end bass is robust. It's just overall, I wish the dynamics were a little bit better. But as we all know, there is no such thing as a perfect integrated amplifier. But one thing, there is no perfect sounding integrated amplifier. Only the right integrated amplifier for you. Now overall, I would call the Marantz PM8006 of having a robust sound character to it. It is on the warm side of neutral. The mid-range does have a sweetness to it that I absolutely love. And the top end treble above 15 kilohertz is smooth or what I would call delicate treble in those higher registers. But anyways, 
Yes, the Marantz does have a colorful sound to it overall. Now, one thing that I was really impressed with with the Marantz was speaker pairing. I wrote about six uh, different speakers with the Marantz, and three of them actually sounded really good with the Marantz. Uh, first off, my Polk Audio LSIM 703s, when I had it hooked up to the Marantz in my room, those uh, Polk Audios had this rich, velvety sound to them overall. I mean, I was really engaged to that pairing, you all. Also, another set of my speakers, the Triangle Esprit Easy Comets. Oh my goodness, you all. The tonality with the Marantz and those triangles was outstanding. Even the dynamics were very good. Even though I was telling you all one of the weak points, in my opinion, of the Marantz is dynamics. But the triangle having a horn loaded design, that's already a very dynamic speaker. So they paired up very good together. Another speaker that I really enjoyed with the Marantz PM8006 was my Kev Q350s. Now these Kev Q350s have this large, large uh, sound stage. Very good imaging. And when I matched it up with the Marantz, PM8006, you all, I've got this 3D holographic imaging sound stage that I could just sit there and place all the artists and instruments on that sound stage. So, you know, it does come a lot with speaker pairing, you know, having that overall synergy, which I would highly recommend you if you were interested in buying the Marantz Integrated Amplifier, is to try to audition it first. Now, one thing I want to go over with you all real quick is if you all come up here and you turn on this source direct button in the front and you bypass the tone controls completely, well, you all, the sound changes dramatically. When you go to source direct, you lose a little bit of heft, a little bit of that robust sound. You do lose a little bit of that warmth or what some people would call you know, color, it almost sounds sterile in the low end and the mid-range. And then in the top end, you do even get more extension. Now, I read up on the forums, a lot of people do not like this source direct button. But if you're like me and you have a lot of speakers, you find out quickly that your speakers that tend to be really have a warm character to them and maybe sound a little dry or a little dark up top, meaning they don't sound that lively, well, when you hit that source direct button with those kind of speakers, yes, it gives those speakers, you know, much better air in the top end. You know, it doesn't sound too warm or too congested. It actually worked out good with that source direct button. But I will tell you all, overall, with all my speakers, I did prefer not to hit the source direct button. So now I'm going to wrap this video up, giving you a close-up look, and take a deeper dive inside of the Marantz PM8006 that I am calling the Samurai of Solid State Integrated Amplifiers. And I am promoting the Marantz to need on. So Kiskade Hajime Yitch! Hey! Okay, y'all. Now for the close-up look of this retro-looking integrated amplifier, the Marantz PM8006. Now I'm freestyling this, so I'm going to go through this part really quick so we can get to popping the hood. Down here on the far bottom left, you will see we have our main power switch to turn the integrated amp completely off or completely on. Once you turn it on and you want to put it in standby mode, you will have to use the remote control. Next to that is our headphone amplifier. Now, I don't know how powerful that is, but it drove my Mass Drop HD6XX headphones fairly easy. Then look what we have, you all. We have three different tone controls. We have one for bass, mid, and treble. The bass goes up to 50 hertz. The mid goes up to 900 hertz, and the treble up to 15 kilohertz. Next to that, we have the balance left and right speakers. Then above that, we have speakers A and speakers B, which allows you to hook up a total of four speakers all together. Now, if you're running speakers A and B at the same time, I highly recommend that you use speakers that are 8 ohms and above. Now, if you use either speaker A or speaker B, then yes, you could drive some, you know, low-ohmed speakers. 
Next to that, we have the power amp direct button. And this is going to be huge for a lot of people that want to use the Marantz as a dedicated two-channel amplifier. Next to that, we have our source direct button, you all. And I will go over this more when I talk about the overall sound quality of the Marantz. And down here on the end, we have our volume control. Now, this volume control is Marantz's new electronic volume control that they're very proud of and they say has very low noise. Now, I'm going to use the remote control to turn the volume up and down. So you can see how smooth it works. Now, I know on some first generations PM8006 integrated amplifiers, people were saying when they were using their remote controls that they couldn't really dial in those low volumes. That it would go from like volume one to three but since then Marantz has updated that volume control then over here on the other side we have our selector knob listen to these Japanese relays you all when I go to switch the inputs that just sounds like quality to me y'all pure quality and this Marantz does have that retro look now Let's go to the back of the integrated amplifier. But listen to this amplifier when I go turn it off, y'all. Check out these relays. Okay, now we're at the back of the Marantz integrated amplifier. Look at those speaker terminals, you all. Those are huge, solid brass with a thick silver coating over top. Now Marantz does make these themselves. Here's you all a better look. Marantz calls these their SPKT1 Plus. Boy, those are big, you all. Very big. Now let's go over here to the far left-hand corner. We'll start at the top. We have our phono input, audio in, and a really nice ground that Marantz included. Now this is Marantz Musical EQ Phono that does have a two-stage um, amplification for low noise. Next to that, we have our pre-outputs that you could use to another amplifier or subwoofers. Like I said, this is a fully featured pure analog integrated amp. So we do have power amp direct input. That's going to be huge for a lot of people that want to use the Marantz as a dedicated two-channel amplifier. Then down here on the bottom, we have our five analog inputs, CD, network, tuner, auxiliary, and recorder. Next to that, we have audio out record. Again, our speaker terminals. Then we're going to have our remote control in and out, which if you have multiple audio components hooked up together, you can use one to turn the power off all of them. And yes, we have a detachable power cord. This would be your power IEC input. That is good to see. And check this out, y'all. Again, made in Japan. I love that. Now, let's pop the hood. Oh, yeah. Oh, my audio file goodness. Check out this build quality to price point, you all. I mean, straight out of Japan. Now, first off, I want to give you all a warning that it can be very dangerous and even fatal popping the hood to any of your electronics. Please allow me to do this for you all. Now, first off, let's take a deep dive inside, and I want to check out this double-shielded toroidal transformer that is rated at 600 VA. I mean, this is a beefy toroidal, you all. And another thing that Marantz incorporated with the PM8006 was a tripled layer bottom to help with any kind of vibrations. Here behind the toroidal transformer, we have where the power comes in. Now, this is proprietary to Marantz because this is actually their current feedback technology. I can see some Nichicon caps, regulators. I can see some um, relays. Then over here in the middle, we have this massive pure aluminum heat sink, you all. I mean, it is very big. Now, this is needed. To keep the amplifier running cool and by Marantz incorporating this huge pure aluminum heatsink, they didn't have to add any kind of fans. 
Now, I'm not a fan of this cable running across the heat sink, but I do know Marantz likes to use the shortest signal path. Now, I want to check out in behind the volume control because I want to check out the preamp inside uh, for one of the first things, you all. So we go over here, we see our motorized volume control. Then we had some more voltage regulators over here. Now, if I track this volume control down, we can see some uh, more filter caps. And there we have them, you all. Let me get this in good for you. These right here, you all, are actually Marantz's very own HDAM SA3 technology, which stands for Hyperdynamic Amplifier Modules. Now, Amplifier, I mean, now Marantz builds their own. They don't use no off-the-shelf chip amplifiers or integrated op-amps. And these HDAMs, you all, do run in Class A. So the internal preamp is class A, but the internal amp is class AB. Now let's look at the rest of the preamp. Now I'm on the opposite side. We're on the back of the HDAMs, and we look forward. We see a lot of filtering caps, a whole lot of filtering caps, which reminds me, and that preamp board, which reminds me, check out these high filter caps, you all. They do say Marantz on them. But they're actually high quality grade Nichicon high filter caps. They're rated at 18,000 microfarads each, giving you a total of 36,000 microfarads. And you can see that they are attached to the heat sink again for the shortest signal path. Now, down here on the very bottom, you all, you'll see two on this side. Then down here, we will see two more down here on the bottom. And those are actually your output stage transistors or JFITs, junction field effect transistors, which I actually like JFITs a whole lot. Now, another thing I want to check out, you all, is the actual speaker terminals from the inside. And they have some really nice build quality. Also, that is great to see. Well, we have speakers A output and speakers B output. We actually have two relays. That's great to see. Now, real quickly, I want to see the phono preamp. So there's the phono input. So if we go inside, oh, really good connections in there. Now here will be our phono preamp board. Let me get that in better for you all. And the awesome thing about Marantz's musical phono eq board is they use two stage amplification for lower noise that was really cool to see some nice uh, caps there also now if we look down here on the inside we see our five analog inputs good build quality there also i mean y'all for fifteen hundred dollars us Marantz really knocked this one out of the park especially if you're someone that likes its overall sound character. So that pretty much wraps up my full video review of the Marantz PM8006 Class AB Integrated Amplifier. Until next time, this is TJ, the Stereo Bargain Foul. Happy Holiday Weekend, everyone. Y'all, that is right. It is time. For me to make some money and buy some more spikers, there, babe. <laughs>